Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is my giant dog, Kidney Bean. Hi, Kidney Bean. Why are we still here? Today we're gonna make one of my favorite Asian desserts. Mochi! Except it's gonna be like a squishy milk mochi. Exciting! Kidney Bean, you excited? Just to suffer. Don't talk to him. Why not? Because he's here for me, not you. Wow. So we're at the Asian supermarket the other day and we see this beautiful mochi. Mochi is one of those things that I really like, but I don't, like I'm not like super obsessed with it. I just really like it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I don't die for it. So hopefully today I can make something I'm dying for, but I, I definitely die for like the texture, the squishy, like it is such a squishy, fun, cute, Look at this. It is such a pretty little thing. For my mochi today, the plan, which might go wrong, is for there to be like a sweet milk outer part, a white bean kind of like inner ring, and then a real fruit center. That's what I'm trying to do. I've never made mochi before in my life, but I'm Karthi Oh, that's so good. We're gonna start with the white bean layer first. So I have these kidney beans. They're supposed to be skinned kidney beans, but I couldn't find it. I'm gonna put it in a strainer and press it through, and hopefully it'll get all creamy and the skin will be left behind. I'm really hoping. This could be how most Karthagura videos start out. <laughs> yeah, pressing balls through a strain. Disastrous. That's what I was going for. Oh. Actually, very well-known fact about Karthagurt. Karthagurt is actually Asian. Do you know that? No. I'm quite proud to be Asian, and I don't care if you don't like Asians, as long as you do it away from me. I'm aloof, okay? But what about your Asian brothers and sisters? I get mad on their behalf. Yeah. So don't do it around them either. No, I mean, if you like had a problem, but you just sat in your house like, ah! then like, knock yourself out, hope you die from the stress. Yeah, I, I thought it might go like this. Yeah. Should we blend them? It's stressful. Blend them. That would be the smarter thing to do. This is rice syrup. <laughs> rice malt syrup. Rice malt syrup. I need three spoons. Ooh. I've never worked with this before. <laughs> Just zoomed in on your chins. My chins? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Look. Oh jeez. Mm, goopy. Goopy indeed. I feel like this is gonna be like a little sticky. <laughs> Eyebrows move up every time it goes. <laughs> I feel like the blender was more on than it's ever been. Hey. Oh my god. She stuck his nose in the flower. <laughs> the bean paste is done. Reminds you of your good old classic chickpea days where you got it all ground up and you went, It's hummus. And you weren't happy about it. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I always like the bean flavor in mochi. Like when you mix like a savory and sweet. Cause to me like the bean flavor is a little bit savory but it's also really fun in desserts. The bean paste. I put a quarter cup of sugar. I put a tiny bit of food coloring and it's still really wet. So I'm gonna put it on the stove for 10 minutes until it gets, uh, loses liquid. And now we're gonna work on the mochi. Potato starch, potato starch. Dun, 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 dun. Potato starch. Da, 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 da. Sweet rice or glutinous rice flour. Bang. Sugar. Spatula. So I put food coloring in the white bean paste just because I want the outside to be really white. And then it, for it to go from that to like a pink paste to like a very red jam. Huh? Throw the milk in there. Watch out, puppy. Nope. This isn't for you. So this is going to be lumpy for a while. We'll see how it goes. So right now it's just looking like liquid and hopefully it becomes mochi-like. There's already like a few pieces that already are, are looking pretty jelly and squishy that are coming through. What's the word? Is the word emulsify? Is the word gooify? Yeah, I think that's the word. What do you Fun think the and word exciting. is? It's getting pretty goopy. Yeah, it is. And apparently every time it sticks to the bottom, the rest of it is gonna pick it back up. Now I'm a little worried about how I'm gonna shape this because I feel like I'm gonna burn my hands. Starting to lump up, starting to incorporate. Very sticky. Yeah, very sticky. 
Yeah, it's coming along and it smells really good. I love milk desserts. I love olive oil cakes. Hopefully this is a grand slam. We're making ourselves some flubber. I did not think it would be this like smooth. It's gotten this sticky. And then we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on this liberally dusted pan with cornstarch. Now get it in. Okay, it's time to leave your home. Yeah, get out you little milk mooch. Go on, get. We don't love you no more. Get out of here, you hear? When the ball sack left its home. I watched a woman and she told me it's what to do. You watched a woman. I watched a woman and she told me I was doing the right thing. She's got the goop. She's doing the swoop. Oh, it's so hot. That's hot goop. Oh, this feels just like mochi. It's like the perfect, squishy, fun consistency. This is exactly it. I just hope it tastes good because like every time I eat mochi, including the, the one that I had at the beginning of the video, it's so heavily dusted with a uh, powder on the outside. But this like reminds me of like scratching styrofoam and it's like making me sick. Now for the hard part, okay? We have to get this bean paste, which actually looks quite lovely, in this mochi and some fruit in the middle. A fun, beautiful, cute food. We have the strawberry in here, I'm covering it in bean paste, and then I'm going to cover the rest in zamochi. Just the way they do in Japan. Yeah, no, it, it like comes together a lot easier than you would assume. <laughs> Looks great. Good. Looks like a real mochi. Does it? Yeah. I'm so happy with how this bean paste thickened up. I'm making a jam one now. And this one looks a lot more like the first mochi we had with like the three different colors. Get into it. I have to put so much bean paste to like hide the jam. I still want the jam to like spill out. Yuck. It's in your hand. Squishy milk mochi. I'm excited. I'm nervous, because if these are bad, ugh, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna cut in half and see how they look on the inside. Oh boy. Oh, that's kind of cute. Whoa, that's kind of cute. Do you think? Yeah, it looks great. What's uh, wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. I'm taking a bite. Did you do it? It's really fun. This is like, if you enjoy like the white bean, the black bean, the, the bean, the red bean flavor profile, then you'll really like this. If not, then you'll find it very, very strange. Mm. Is it like hummus? Mm -mm. <laughs> this is a jam center. I'm gonna cut them in half. I just wanna, I need to know. Interesting. Better. Closer, warmer. The jam is just too overpowering. Like everything else is so gentle. And this jam is like, here, try it. Tell me if you agree. I don't think so. You would think that like the strawberry just can't compete with the jam, but the strawberry can and does compete. These are really easy and fun to make. Mm, mochi, oh, mochi, oh. Sorry. I like it better than the one that I had at the beginning of the video because it just feels healthier and fresher. I mean, there's a lot of like glutinous rice in here, but it's a fun little dessert. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.